Cops. Robert F. Kennedy's assassin was granted parole today by a California board. It was Sirhan Sirhan's 16th attempt. ABC 10 News reporter Rena Nakano is joining us from Donovan State Prison. And Rena, today's ruling comes after two of RFK's sons said they support this release. Hey, yeah, uh, his past attempts kept getting denied because the commissioner said that he was not showing any signs of remorse. But today, the commissioner, as well as Kennedy's son, said that he should be released. With a paper towel handkerchief tucked in his prison shirt pocket, 77-year-old Sirhan Sirhan sat in front of a computer, waving to his participants in his virtual parole hearing. Sirhan has been behind bars since assassinating Senator Robert F. Kennedy at the Ambassador Hotel in 1968. Sirhan has said growing up during the conflict in the Middle East affected his judgment. Those listening into Friday's hearing included the senator's son Douglas, as well as Paul Schrade, who was also shot but survived. This was also the first time prosecutors did not attend the hearing seeking to keep Sirhan in prison. His last 15 parole requests were not granted because of lack of remorse and persisting anger issues. Sirhan said he does feel remorse for his actions and added in the last two years he took 20 self-help classes and has become quote a humble balanced man. After being stabbed in the neck by an inmate at Donovan State Prison in 2019, Sirhan said he has been worried about his safety. So right now his focus is to get parole and reunite with his ailing brother who lives in Pasadena. The senator's son, Douglas Kennedy, said in the hearing, quote, I'm grateful today to see him as a human being worthy of compassion and love. I do wish him well in his life and rehabilitation. Sirhan's attorney read a letter by RFK Jr., who also pushed for granting his parole, saying, quote, Should he be released, I offer to be a guiding friend for him. The commissioner ultimately voted to grant parole with conditions. First, he must go to transitional housing for six months. This is if he is not deported by ICE. He must next take alcohol counseling and do weekly check-ins with a parole officer. Lastly, he must meet with a therapist to assess his mental health. In the end of the hearing, Sirhan thanked the participants and gave two thumbs up. Now, getting parole does not automatically mean he gets released. The parole board has 120 days to review this decision. Then it goes to the governor, who then has 30 days to review this case as well, in which case he has the decision to make here. Either reverse, uphold, modify, send it to the full board, or take no action. I'm live out here in Otay Mesa, Rena Nakano, ABC 10 News. We will wait and see. Thank you, Rena.